And Arizona's Right to Life group is suing to stop a November ballot measure that would enshrine access in our state constitution. This is different from their original lawsuit. They're now focusing on what they say is confusing and misleading wording, trying to get people to sign the Arizona for Abortion Access petition in the first place. Our Steven Sarabia is here to break down this new lawsuit and their claims. Yeah, yeah so they're taking a few things out from their previous lawsuit, uh, Derek and Nicole. So a few things to point out is that the group Arizona for Abortion Access submitted more than 820,000 signatures to let voters decide on abortion this November. That's well above the 380 required. Now, Arizona Right to Life, a group against abortion, sued, alleging signature collectors turned in insufficient forms and misrepresent or misrepresented the amendment they wanted to put on the ballot. They also claimed that the wording was confusing and unclear and people didn't know what they were signing. Now in this new lawsuit, they are no longer challenging the signature collectors and instead just focusing on the challenging the wording. So Arizona Right to Life releasing this statement about moving forward with the lawsuit saying, research completed by our volunteers has set the groundwork to prove that the language of the ballot initiative is misleading and confusing. We are optimistic that we will prevail and that this faulty petition will not be on the November ballot. So I spoke with the Arizona for Abortion Access about this new lawsuit. They feel this is just a desperate attempt to stop something voters showed overwhelming support to have on the November ballot. And it is an, it's another frivolous and misleading uh, uh, claim, a claim that they're making here. It was a claim that was also part of the initial lawsuit. Um, we feel that we will be victorious in court. I am 100% confident that we have done all of the things that we could possibly do to make sure that our language ends up on the ballot in November. Arizona currently has a law banning abortion after 15 weeks, but if this new amendment is passed in November, abortion rights would be enshrined in the Arizona Constitution up to around 24 weeks, with the exception to save the mother's life. Now, there's a chance that this lawsuit takes abortion off the ballot, but again, that's only up to the judge. As it stands right now, it will remain on the ballot if the judge says otherwise. And again, you can see the full wording of that Constitution amendment on our website, azfamily.com.